when it comes to uh, their child's education, we believe that parents absolutely have rights and those rights should be protected. And that's certainly what we've heard from many Saskatchewan people, parents, grandparents, families in this province. And so again, that's what this bill does. I feel strongly to follow that example, to stand by the marginalized and vulnerable and uh, advocate for them and advocate for their, for their rights, their equality and every mental health opportunity that's available to them. And uh, hearing the information this morning uh, that was shared uh, by the SAS party was very disheartening and, um, and causes me concern for uh, the mental health of our vulnerable youth in the school systems. A lot of parents, um, you know, wouldn't have to worry about about the pronouns that their children are choosing or the the chosen name that they want to use because they have a great relationship with their kids and so um, for a lot of parents and a lot of kids it's it's a, a moot point um, but for the kids that don't have a safe home um, this is scary this is very scary for those children so this government knows that they, that this policy will infringe on the rights of children and they're invoking the notwithstanding clause to give themselves the power to do that. This, this legislation goes even further to then protect the government from any legal action. So they've got clauses in here that extinguish any legal action against the government for enforcing this policy. It's an indication that they know that this policy will harm children and they're more interested in protecting themselves.